Hello everybody, Lunatic in a Box here, playing some more Project Zomboid. Uh, as you can see, I've disabled Necroforge. And, uh, I'm sorry I left that on. That was being unprofessional. Right. Well, I haven't really done anything off camera. It's, it's still exactly the same. I did look up where where we've made our base. And, uh, I think I picked a decent spot. I also saw that there was this food market here. So I'm going to go in and raid that. And you can't open those windows. Those types of windows. Just check this. Is there a back door? Oh, there's no back door. I'm going to try the front door. Yeah. Yeah. So... Didn't attract any attention, did I? One. It's always one, isn't it? Right, I'll deal with him. Her. It. I don't know what. I don't know what the gender it is. Hello. Oh, hello. I'd say that's a her, would you? Yeah, that's a her. Through. Lettuce. So, those are actually quite good. You see, the thing is, though, we're getting all this perishable food. I sort of want to try and, um... Pickles, pickles, those last forever. Those are non-perishables. I want to avoid getting... This is just a fruit market, isn't it? Oh, okay. No, I don't think we'll take anything from here, because, um... Well... Food rots in this game. It's got a kind of realism thing. Let's use that for fire. Fire is useful. Keeps your character warm. Ah, I actually want that. Rubbish bags we want. I know they're called garbage bags in the game, but uh, I managed to open a window. Amazing. I should probably check the house, actually. In the bathroom. Start looting now then. Sheets, we want. Bleach kills you, so no. There's only golf club in there. Don't need a golf club. Could use a slightly better weapon though. Okay, that's useful. Cook secondary, so we need to have a, bag, a second bag. Uh, nothing useful. Check the bedside table. Yes! Yes, that's the that's the jackpot. That's that's what we need. Quick primer. Nice. So get rid of the school bag. And oh, condition it's it's nearly ruined anyway, so we leave them here. I've got a Who keeps bullets? Just just Okay, more bullets. Excellent. Now, guns in this game have advantages and disadvantages. On the one hand, they're amazing for killing zombies. On the other hand, they'll attract zombies in a huge radius around you. I never take the whiskey. There's, there's no reason for me to take it. I should take that. It should take a while. I should take the cooking pots as well. Got some more water bottles, good. Uh, empty bottle. Ooh, some more food. You should always take cooking pots because, um, well, once you grow crops and things, you can cook soup. And soup is very useful. 
uh, this is I need that. I probably should have taken the strong thing, the strong perk, because I didn't this time, and it would see, I mean, I can run, amazing at running, Switch windows, close curtains. Come on. Oh, come on. Just go down. Uh, hello. Uh, don't need any of that. I love how someone kept bleach in their, their bedside cupboard. I love how they kept bleach. You know, just in case. Actually, that's horrible. But honestly, why would you keep... Okay. No crisps. Oh, I think my bag's full. Yeah, that bag's full. Raining again. Let's see how we have durability. Can beans. Got some can beans. I don't know, I'll take the cooking pot. Oh trowel, yes, we need that. On the ground. Right, is there any seeds? Yes, tomato seeds. Excellent. Cooking pot. Is there any potato seeds? I'm sure I saw some potato seeds somewhere. Uh, ignore the dog, it's just ambient sound. There's no dogs in the game. I think. I have a feeling there are no dogs in the game. I am overweight. I actually really just... Right. Great. So, apart from the zombie apocalypse, it's also thunderstorm time. I'm very used to, uh, I always take the strong perk. I was thinking of uh, taking strong and and athletic on this character, but I thought that would be a bit kind of, not overpowered, just a bit too easy for me. I think we're gonna, I saw some potato seeds in here. I remember I saw potato seeds. Or they were carrot seeds. This sucks. Um, did I pick up any seeds? Yeah, I got potato seeds. Yeah, potatoes. I think I think potatoes are the best crop in the game at the moment. Although they do need to rejig the farming a bit. Which I could forage, couldn't I? It is build 29, right? Yeah. I don't think I can forage. 
That sort of sucks. But anyway, you see, this is actually a really good base, if you think about it, because what I was thinking, we could put a door here, so you have one layer of defense. We put another door here, and, uh... And if I ever actually need to kind of get a quick escape, I can always just jump over. I will survive. You will survive a one-story drop. Yeah, it's raining. It's actually raining outside now. This is all stuff that we're putting in. I found some bullets, which is good. Pickles last forever, but they don't have much uh, hunger reduction. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Good. Oh, tomato seeds. Got some tomato seeds. That's good. I think I'll put my cooking pots in here as well. stuff we're going to want to put behind the bed. Okay, well, we've got some stuff now at least. I'm going to go to sleep, this is. I still haven't found a hammer. I've got to go and find a hammer. So that's that's the task. Now let's find a hammer. And a saw. I suppose it could go up to the um Is the warehouse near here? I don't think the warehouse is anywhere near where we put the base though. Breakfast bell pepper. Delicious. Hello. You see, zombies seem to be a bit glitchy. I don't know if it's something new, like uh, they've introduced new behavior, but they don't seem to be acting normally. I think they added erosion recently. Uh, that's a thing where basically the world would get more. Yep, both of them are dead. See, you can tell if they're dead because if they're not, they're just lying on the ground. Here, I'll show you with this guy. Now, you see, he's got, he's sort of 3D in comparison to the dead bodies. Also, when there's the big blood splatter, you know. Oh, tarp. Oh, that's great. Thread and needle. Don't need those. No, tarp I can use to make a, um, a tent kit. Did I go in here already? I have a feeling I've been in here. Nope, haven't. Uh, you'll notice that I never take, don't seem to take the TV dinners or any meat, and that's because it's dangerous uncooked, and, well, if you're not good at, no, if you're not good at cooking, cooking is an actual skill in this game, so if you, if your character's terrible at cooking, you're going to either burn things. Matches might be useful. 
nails. We always use nails. I uh, I went on a multiplayer server once where they used nails as a currency. Well, not really currency. It was more nails are the most important thing in the economy. So you could, for instance, trade a box of nails for I think a gun or a shotgun or anything. You know, anything sort of. Bullets! Bullets! Ah! Accuracy! Guard! I want to do accuracy. I think the next one will do it. I just got another point, didn't I? Yep. Maintenance. Oh! No, get away from me. Down. Yeah, I don't... The, the auto-lock is, is nice as a touch of realism. Oh, yes, through, come through. Can I do lock-picking? I also, the things we need to find is a, a shovel, and more bullets, and, anything. and I think duffel bags are 18, but we'll take it anyway, because we might need it for later. Because uh, if your character dies, it is death, it is, you, you're not coming back from this, it's permadeath. Which I really like because it gives me more more incentive to stay alive. Take it all. Ooh, kitchen knife. Ooh, potato seeds. Uh, wire. I'm taking the wire because if we ever find a, a body of water, you can make um, fish traps. And I mean, you can fish manually as well, but I like the fish traps because, well, it doesn't kill the fish, so you can keep, you can come back and just leave it. So, for instance, if I was to make a secondary base at, next to a river, I wouldn't have to keep, I wouldn't, and I was low on food on the way there, I wouldn't have to worry about, well, about starving, because I'd have a, a ready seafood supply. Ah, that looks like a good place to loot. Hello. Hello. Yeah, they seem to have uh, dramatically... Either it's because I'm not using the strong part. They seem to have dramatically uh, nerfed the fighter capability. I mean, it was pretty bad before, but I think it's because I'm used to playing with the strong work. Because that, that affects the weapon knockback. And. Not knockback, weapon. Weapon damage, basically. This. Radishes are good um, as a sort of. Just, work, just to a quick bro. Rubbish bag. Rubbish bag. I know I'm not taking the batteries because I have nothing to do. I won't. I have nothing that needs batteries, and the only real thing that needs batteries is the hammer. Oh, thank God. Oh, we can finally sleep safely. Well, I mean, we need a saw, but there was a. Where was it? There was a plank. Yeah, there was a plank in one of the 
Oh, lovely. Mmm, delicious loot. Come on. Really, I'll just no. Yeah. Uh, well, I think I'm going to leave this here because this next bit will literally be just me going back to. No, you know I'll stick around. I'll keep going for a few more minutes. Yeah, you can just double click and just click them to ground. Oh, lovely nails. Everyone loves nails. I'm so happy I found the hammer, though. Because the hammer is, the like, the one of the essential items. A lot of the stuff, sort of, you don't need it. But, um, for instance, flashlight, you don't need it. Because you can see at night, okay, anyway. Carpentry for intermediates, that's useful. Grab that. A normal hiking bag, might need that later. I seem to be, I know I seem to be picking up bags when I can't equip them. It doesn't seem that I'll need them. Trust me, you'll need them at some point. I cannot, I cannot count the amount of times that I have died and then come back to my base to find that I only had two bags with me. There was a plank somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll just, um, yeah, it was in here. Plank and tent peg. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm going to go and I'll show you... Hammer. Where's the hammer? Uh, how you use the hammer. Mm, go quick, quick nails. I think I think that's just for building. Now yeah, let me show you um, what you can do with the hammer and the nails and a plank is you can uh, barricade windows. Oh, that's what we're going to call this place. This place is going to be called Fort Hill. Fort Hill. So you'll see what I mean. So you see, it gives me the option to barricade it now. So let's barricade that. You see, it'll walk over, and I would put a plank over the put a plank over the window. So you see, now we can't climb through the window, which means the zombies can't climb through. What was that? Okay, I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode here. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time on Project Zomboid. Bye.